Hello everyone, this is Damon with PixNub Software and in this video I'm just going to be doing a quick demonstration of the green on green batch processing workflow inside of Easy Green Screen. I would say about 80 to 90 percent of the situations you won't have to do any manual brushing and this is very quick. You can of course have it where the green is nearly the exact same color as a screen and in that case you'll have to do some manual brushing but I know for these images I won't. Um, and so I'm just going to demonstrate here. I've got two images I'm going to do. And of course you can do more images. I'm just doing two just to make it quick. So I'm launching the Easy Green Screen Batch Processor here. Now for green recovery you have two choices. You can either do the extractions only first and then come back and do the green recovery on all of the extracted images. Or you can do the extractions and the green recovery in one step, which is what I'm going to do here. You'll have to select the source and save folders, which I've already done because I tested this one time. I'm just going to hit run and it's going to extract the first image and then when it's done it's going to give me the green recovery options. Now I explain this in other videos so please be sure to watch those as well. I'm just lassoing around the area that needs recovered and only including what I need. Okay, you see when this comes up here, there is a little bit of green that did not, or that got recovered on the screen that we didn't want to. Um, so what I need to do on the first image is figure out the settings that I want to use. And so, in this case, the screen had a hue that was too close to the, um, or excuse me, it had too wide of a hue variation in the screen. So some of those hues were further than eight away from that selection I made when I selected the screen. So all I did there was increase the hue threshold. Now if I go too high, not all of the jersey is erased. But for this image, a hue threshold of 12 works good. And in batch process, if your images are shot the same way, these same settings should work for each image. So when you're doing batch, it's good to um, check this box that says use previous settings on start. And this will use these same settings for each image. So now once I hit apply, it's going to continue on to the next image. And then I just do the same procedure. And lasso just what I need here. And you see now this time, it's already used those settings, so I don't have to do anything other than hit apply, and it's going to bring up the next image if I had another one. Now you can see in this, it says it was 54 seconds an image, and that was mainly because I was talking a lot. When I've done this testing um, with larger volumes, I can usually get the extractions and the green recovery all inclusive down to about 20, maybe 25 seconds an image. Um, so that's actually pretty fast, faster than any other way I know of to do green on green recovery. If you're interested at all in Easy Green Screen, please be sure to visit our website that is pixnub.com.